Hello. Online quizzes are now the standard exam in schools and universities due to the COVID-19 lockdown. Google Form quizzes are one of the most used quizzes because they are free, easy to create, and have a rich interface. But you have to avoid these two things when using Google Form quizzes. First is the short answer. Okay, the short answer that uh, it is used to create here, for instance, a security checkpoint. Uh, here we have used the option response validation. With the response validation here, we can check for something different uh, things here, but mainly most educators use the regular expression, and here they put my super passwords or something some uh, complex code. Why? Because uh, uh, first of all, they distribute the quiz URL. Then uh, they think that uh, they are blocking the student here uh, from continuing until they provide the, the right passcode. We're going to see, for instance, here. OK, it's not going to work. Of course, if I put This password. It's going to continue to the exam. Uh, is this secure? It is not secure at all. Uh, a simple right click, view page source. You would come here and you will see that here's the question, and here is your super duper complex password. Okay, it is in clear text. No hacking tool was used to see it. So please, please, please don't use this kind of questions, okay, in your exams because it is super easy to be bypassed by students. Uh, especially a little bit uh, who have a uh, little uh, information about uh, websites and other stuff like that. It would be easy, super easy for him to find the answer. And of course, you are not going to block him. He's going to continue the exam while others are still waiting for you to supply them with the passcode. Okay, the second thing that you should never do also. Here I'm, uh, I have an exam, a little quiz. It is uh, made of sections. Okay, so whenever uh, he, uh, he or she answers with a specific answer, here I'm using the this option. Go to this, uh, section based on the answer. So if uh, he or she uh, answered 81, he want he will go to section two. If 18, section 3, if 99, submit the form, else uh, continue next section, else go to section 1, 2, 3. Okay, the, the thing here that I'm, I have different sections, for instance, if an educator uh, wants to uh, uh, cut uh, or divide his, his exam into different sections based on the, on the answer, he would be uh, relying on this kind of decomposition of the exam even here we have after section we can go to a certain section based on what we have provided for this exam also if we can go here for instance this one okay it's gonna go to s1 while here it's gonna push us to submit also a simple right click view page source is going to give us this information as you can see here this is our typical question this is our first answer second answer third answer fourth and fifth okay what are these here you can see this number will provide 
the number of the section that I'm gonna jump to. Here's another one for the 18. It says it's gonna jump to this section. Minus three, it means submit. Minus two, it means go to the next section. And minus one, it means stay on the same section. If you want, you can go back and I will show you exactly what I was talking about. Section S1, section three, submit, continue, and go to section one, which is where I am. So the student with no hacking tool whatsoever, he could here choose the different path that he wants. And even he could uh, see sections he shouldn't have, uh, should have, shouldn't have any access to, just based on reading these different numbers. No hacking is required. And uh, nothing here is, it's on the clear. So if it is, it is very easy to be bypassed or even to, to find the correct path to the final questions and to even find the correct answer. So uh, I hope you enjoyed my video. Uh, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.